Hey guys, Chris Lopez here, Certified Turbulence Trainer, and I've got your TT Workout of the Month for October 2012. We've got the Metabolic Havoc Workout. We're gonna be training for three days, uh, taking a day off in between, so we've got workout A, B, and C. This is workout A, the first round of supersets in workout A. We're gonna start things off with a goblet Bulgarian split squat. You're gonna be doing 10 reps on each side. So, I've got my bench over here, gonna hold my dumbbell in the goblet position, set myself up so that my toe is on the bench, and then I'm gonna really focus on sitting right down on my front leg. So getting right down onto the heel, good range, and then driving up. So you'll notice that my back is nice and straight, I've got a great stretch in my quad and in my hip flexor on the back leg, and I'm focusing on my front leg to do all the work. So I'm gonna do 10 reps on each side, immediately after that, Still only need one dumbbell. We're gonna do dumbbell rows. And we'll be doing 10 on each side for the dumbbell rows. So one knee down, one hand down. Remember dumbbell rows are a great abdominal exercise as well because you've gotta keep your abs braced and you wanna minimize any rotation that occurs in your torso. So I'm bracing my abs nice and tight. I've got a good arch back and I'm gonna pull up with my elbow high, squeezing my shoulder blades together and then coming back down. So we're gonna do 10 reps on each side of the dumbbell row. Immediately after the 10 reps on both sides, you're gonna elevate your bench, and we're gonna do 10 reps of a dumbbell incline press. So you're gonna lie down, keep your elbows relatively close to your body. Remember, we don't wanna flare them too far out. Push all the way up, squeeze at the top, and then bring it back down under control. Notice how my elbows are below the level of my shoulders. I've got them at a 45 degree angle to my shoulders. That'll just ensure that I'm saving my shoulders, not really putting too much strain on the anterior capsule there. So 10 reps here, inhaling down, exhaling up. Really focus on squeezing your shoulder blades together as you bring it down. Remember you're balancing things out, just opposing the dumbbell row and bring it back down. So immediately after that, you're gonna rest for one minute, and then you're gonna repeat that circuit two additional times for a total of three rounds, and then we'll head into our next superset. So we're on the next superset for workout A. We're gonna superset uh, dumbbell Romanian deadlift, and then we're gonna do a Spider-Man climb push-up, and then we're gonna finish the third exercise with another set of dumbbell Romanian deadlifts. So just to review dumbbell Romanian deadlifts, we're gonna be doing um, 12, 12 reps, and then we'll drop down into our Spider-Man climb push-ups and I'll give you the rep scheme for that. So let's go 12 reps of the dumbbell RDLs. So feet are about hip width apart, toes just slightly flared, but you want them pretty much right underneath your hips. Starting out with a straight back, you're gonna lean forward, get a good pull in your hamstring, slightly flex at the knee, and then fire through with your glutes and bring it right back to the start. Try to keep the dumbbells as close to your body as you can. The further away the dumbbells are, the more likely it is that you may injure your back or pull something. So if you notice that when I'm doing my RDLs, excuse the camera there behind me, or sorry, the uh, microphone behind me, but I'm following through with my glutes. I'm not leaning back, really thinking about rooting myself into the ground and finishing that way. So we're doing 12 reps of those. Immediately after that, we're gonna hit the Spider-Man climb push-up, which is just a climb on each side and then you're pushing up in between each rep. So I'm gonna set myself up on the ground, bracing my abs. We're gonna do a Spider-Man climb right, keeping our hips low, Spider-Man left, and then a push-up. Right, left, push-up. So for the Spider-Man climb push-up, we're gonna do as many reps as we can without going to failure. So I want you to go max reps, but I want you to leave one or two in the tank. Remember, we've got three rounds of this. So immediately after that, we're gonna pick up our dumbbells again. And we're gonna go right back to the RDL. So really only two exercises in this superset. Down under control, back up and finish. Good arch in your back. Maintain a brace in your abs. Get that little pull in the hamstring. <sighs> 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 
So once you've done another set of 12, you're going to rest for a minute and then you're going to repeat that two additional times for a total of three rounds. So just to review, we've got 12 reps of the RDL. Immediately after that, you're dropping to the ground. You're doing Spider-Man climb push-ups. And so you're going to do as many reps as you can, but leaving two in the tank. So we're never going to train to failure. And then finishing off with another 12 reps of the RDL. And then we're on to our next superset. Okay guys, so we've got a five exercise abdominal finisher to, uh, to round out workout A. We're going to start off with an abdominal rollout or a ball rollout. We're going to be doing 10 reps of the ball rollout. I'm sorry, we're going to be doing 12 reps of the ball rollout. So for the ball rollout, I'm going to get my fists on top of the ball. I'm going to lock out my elbows and I'm going to take my shoulders and bring them down and back. We're going to brace nice and tight. And then from here, squeezing my glutes, I'm going to lean forward keeping my shoulders down and away, and then from there I'm going to push down with my lats using my armpits, but I'm going to get that good stretch in my abdomen. So all the way out, and then pulling it back, and try to apply even pressure on each arm as you bring it back. The more pressure that you apply, the more you'll feel it in your abdomen. So we've got 12 reps of these, nice big stretch, and then back, keep your glutes tight, especially at this point, and that'll protect your lower back and prevent it from hyperextending. Immediately after that, we're gonna do 10 reps on each side of a ball chop. So, one of the big misconceptions of a ball chop is that you don't wanna be laterally flexing and um, under load as well. So we don't wanna be into this position here where we're flexing and rotating at the same time. What we wanna to try to do is maintain our good posture so you're really only coming down to here but it's your arms that are moving across your body and you're gonna resist rotation. So I'm gonna start with the ball down here and I'm gonna move my arms on a 45 degree angle and up. So as you extend up, you're bracing your abs and you're squeezing your glutes and you're resisting any momentum that'll throw you the other way. So we're going 10 down and up from left to right, 10 down and up from right to left. Great, immediately after that, we're gonna do a jackknife, and we've got 20 reps of the jackknife on the stability ball. So I'm gonna set myself up so that my shins are on the ball, and I'm in that push-up position, bracing my abs nice and tight, and then we're just coming in and then back out. So immediately after that, and that's the jackknife there, bracing your abs nice and tight. Immediately after that, we're gonna do a body saw. The body saw involves you being in a plank position and then kind of shifting your momentum back and forth so that you feel it in your abdomen a little bit more. So I'll show you what I mean. You'll see that I line myself up so that my elbows are a little bit further ahead of my shoulders. I'm gonna brace my abs and squeeze my glutes nice and tight. So I've got a good strain in my abdomen now. I'm gonna move forward and then back. So you're rocking forward and back on your toes. And the further away you go, the more you'll feel it in your abs. So we've got 10 reps of those, and then to finish, we're gonna do 20 cross-body mountain climbers. That's alternating sides, so we're going 10 reps per side. So we're back in that push-up position, bracing our abs, right knee, left elbow, left knee, right elbow. So we've got 20 reps here. Great, so once you've done 20, you're gonna rest for a minute and then you're gonna finish that five exercise ab finisher two additional times for a total of three rounds. After that, you've got tomorrow off and then we'll see you in workout B.